Today we're going to use technology in reading. We're going to use an audiobook that's been digitally recorded to listen to as we read along. To do this, we'll be using an iPod Touch. I'm sure many of you have either used one of these or seen them or you probably own them. You know they're for listening to music or playing games on. For this lesson, we'll be using iPod Touches to listen to the book Chicken Sunday by Patricia Polacco while we read along in the book. We're going to read along in the book because Patricia Polacco has some fabulous illustrations and we wouldn't want to miss them. But the first thing we need to know is how to turn the iPod Touch on. So, with the iPod Touch facing you and the small black circle at the top, you're going to lean it forward until you can see the top and then you're going to feel for a bump along the left hand side. Push hard on it until you can see the screen light up. Then, take your finger and slide across because this is touch screen technology. So instead of using a keyboard or a mouse as an input device, we simply use our fingers. Down at the bottom, you can see the music app. We're going to click on it, and luckily, Chicken Sunday by Patricia Polacco shows up. If it doesn't, then you need to go back to the library, click on this arrow, you'll go return to the main library, pick Chicken Sunday by Patricia Polacco, and then it'll appear. The nice thing about listening to an audio book is that you can stop and start it at any time. To pause the recording, you click down here, pause and play, right there. Another nice feature about being able to start and stop a book is that you can also rewind it. Up here there's a small button that's sliding across as it plays. If you would like to back up because you missed a part or you want to listen to it again, simply touch it and move it back and you'll listen to it once again. Once the story is over, you are going to stop it and then click on the small button down here. You'll be doing this with a partner today. That way you can stop and start the book and reflect on the story with your partner so that you can fill out the storyboard with the events that lead up to the climax, which is what our learning target is for today. On the bottom of the iPod Touch is where you insert for the headphones. Right there. See the small dot? We're going to be using splitters though so that two of you can listen at the same time. You're going to insert it into the bottom and then you're going to insert your headphones into each of the splitters. That way you can be listening to the story without having to bother other people. Please do stop and start the story as much as you need to so that you can fill out those um, story maps. When I call your names, come up and get your assigned iPod and the book. You'll work on your storyboard as you read along. Thanks.